Definition of common terms. In this lesson, we shall be defining some common terms used. Parallel lines. Parallel lines are lines that are the same distance apart from each other. Thus, they can never meet. For example, the lines of zebra crossing are parallel. If we draw two red lines on any two lines of the zebra crossing and extend the lines as shown in this video, we will observe that the lines will never meet. In the second example, we can see that the lines on this building are parallel. In this diagram, you can see that the two lines are parallel as long as their direction does not change as indicated by the arrow. While the last example show lines that are not parallel, because the direction of the upper line changes, it is not constant. Line of symmetry. This is a line that divides a figure into two equal and identical halves. This red dotted line shows one of the line of symmetry that divides the square into two identical and equal halves. Diagonal line. A diagonal line is a line in a shape that runs from one corner to another corner. Let's quickly see some examples of diagonal lines. The top to the bottom of the staircase is diagonal in shape. The red dotted line in the hexagon shows one of its diagonal from one corner to another. While two of the diagonals of the cube are shown from one corner to the other. Angle An angle is formed when two sides share a common point. This point is called the corner or the vertex. It is measured in degrees or radian. In this illustration, we can see that an angle is formed where the two sides meet at the vertex. In this example, you can see that the angle is formed where the two lines meet at the corner. Opposite angles. These are angles that are directly opposite to each other when two lines cross each other in a plane. For example, this parallelogram shape has angles A, B, C, and D. Your angle B and C are opposite angles while your angle A and D are also opposite to each other. Right angles. What about right angles? This is an angle whose measurement is exactly 90 degrees. For example, the top of the table and one of its legs form a right angle. The two sides of the room form a right angle at the corner where they meet. This angle formed is 90 degrees. In later examples, right angle or angle 90 will be drawn shown with this diagram. Perpendicular. A line is perpendicular to another if they meet at 90 degrees or at right angle. These street signs are perpendicular to one another. These examples show lines that are not perpendicular to each other. The black line are not perpendicular to the red line. However, in this example, the black lines are perpendicular to red lines forming a 90 degree angle at the meeting point. Pair. A pair means two types of a thing that are the same. Looking at the rectangular shape on the screen, we have two pairs of parallel lines that are the same. The next example show a pair of parallel lines. Edge, vertex and face. The edges, vertices and faces are used to define the properties of shapes. From the cube, you can see that the vertex or what is referred to as the corner, the edge and the face. Also from this triangle, you can see the vertex, the edge, and the face.
polygon. What is a polygon? A polygon is a closed shape with three or more straight sides. You should note that a circle is not a polygon. Now, let us look at some examples of polygon. You have a triangle, a quadrilateral, a pentagon, a hexagon, a heptagon, an octagon, and a nonagon, which has nine sides. We also have a decagon with ten sides. Quadrilateral. Let us look into quadrilaterals. Quadrilaterals are types of polygon with four straight sides only. For example, a rectangle has four straight sides. The square also has four straight sides. The trapezium has four straight sides. And the rhombus also has four straight sides. The parallelogram and kites are also examples of quadrilaterals because they have four straight sides. Parallelogram. This is a quadrilateral that has two pairs of parallel sides. Like the rhombus, it has two pairs of parallel sides. So does the rectangle and the square have two pairs of parallel sides.